What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to install the Logitech Z313 sound system inside the, well, I guess at this point I'm going to go ahead and call it the Project Cab. It's no longer just a Street Fighter cabinet. Um, in its current iteration, it's the two-player racing cab. So really looking forward to putting this baby in, hooking up to my uh, Rockford Fosgate 4.5 inch two ways, and of course adding that subwoofer. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and plug in the unit in the back and then we're going to unplug the stock speakers or the speakers that I've added in the control panel. Then we'll come back around to the back and disconnect from the uh, LCD control board. Just go ahead and take my little wiring harness and get this out of the way. We're going to continue with the disassembly process by removing the control panel. This is going to be a little bit more complex than your standard, uh, your stock control panel because we've got those pedals. Um, but I try to build this in a way that you could easily remove the control panel or little drawer you'll see it's going to lift out pretty easily we'll set the ps2 to the side so the idea is you can return this thing back to a stock configuration with the only thing being permanently attached to the cabinet are those drawer slides okay we're back in the shop i'm going to make a mark in the center of the control panel we're going to drill a hole so that we can create a notch or a relief for the wires for the uh, volume control knob Okay, with the front of the cab reassembled, it's time to make our first connection to the uh, LCD control board. I'm actually plugging this into the wrong socket. It should be the one on the right. Now, we really have no use for these two included speakers, but I do want to retain this connector here so that when you take out the control panel, you can just disconnect from the back of the uh, subwoofer. So, let's get rid of these speakers. Now, you can pop off that little ring that goes around the speaker, take out the four screws, and there's two screws in the bottom, but I just think it's more fun to throw it in a vise and crush it. It's a stress reliever. Pay attention to polarity because it does matter. In this case, the white wire is a positive. And your left channel is going to be white and red. Your right channel is going to be white and black. And now we'll make the final connection into the back of the amplifier. Fire up the PS2 and we'll see how this thing sounds. Yeah, I'm a big dumb man, baby, but I just don't care. This thing is a ton of fun, and the sound system works out perfectly. It's got plenty of bass, plenty of mids and highs. Uh, with the racing cab, you got to have a good sound system, and this definitely, definitely delivers. So, anyway, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. This is pretty much wrapped up for now, but stay tuned because I just can't leave well enough alone. I've got another mod for this cabinet in mind. What is it? We're just going to have to come back here and find out. So like, subscribe. I appreciate it. You have a blessed day, and I will see you next time.